Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and it's bear season. Now, I know a lot of you out west, you hunt grizzly bear. And in the rest of Pennsylvania, they hunt quite a few black bear. But here in my neck of the woods, we got a Bruin all our own. I'm talking about the teddy bear. Like with all dangerous game, the first rule of teddy bear hunting is to bring enough gun. And that's why I like to use this 4570 H&R handy rifle. It fires a big 45 caliber slug that is guaranteed to knock the stuffing out of a charging teddy. Now, teddies have really poor eyesight because their eyes are just made out of buttons or pieces of cloth and such. So you can stalk up pretty close to them. The teddy bear, also known by its scientific name, Ursus theodorus. These bears hibernate for most of the year, but they get most active around Christmas time and again at Valentine's Day, and that's the best time to hunt them. When I have to go after teddy bears and heavy cover, I change to my side-by-side -side combination gun. This gun has one barrel that takes those big old 4570 rifle cartridges, and the other barrel is loaded up with teddy bust and buckshot. Just what you need for close jump shooting on teddy bears. We get a lot of out-of-state hunters in here for the teddy season, and a lot of them don't understand how to identify their game. Now what you see here is a teddy, but not the huntable kind. These are absolutely off-limits, and if you shoot one of these, the game wardens are going to give you a fine, confiscate your gun and your license, and maybe even your truck. Don't do it, boys. It's just not worth it. Alright, the female teddy bears can be pretty cagey and sometimes they'll camouflage themselves by hiding behind those non-shootable teddies. Don't shoot them then, it's against the law. But don't worry, because right behind them, you'll almost always find a male teddy bear, a big old boar, and he's got loving on his mind, so he won't be thinking about you sneaking up on him. That's your chance. And that's how you knock the stuffing out of a teddy bear. After the hunt is done, there's nothing like relaxing in front of a nice fire with your teddy bear skin rug. That's what teddy hunting is all about.